you see today, Coach? Great competition. Uh, we had a lot of call-up periods, uh, and then we went in. We had a two-minute deal right there in the red zone at the 25 going in. Offense had no timeouts. They were down by eight. Had to score a touchdown to get a two-point conversion. And uh, offense won one, defense won one. Just love the competition today. Shane, you put a lot of emphasis on those call-up periods. What do you like about getting those done in practice? Well, I think it's great. I mean, it lets the guys think, right? It maximizes their, you know, you, instead of looking at a script, it's like, hey, we're going to go out and call plays. And, you know, a lot of our systems installed. And, you know, we're adding pieces bit by bit. But it's good to let those guys to go, go out there and react and think like it's game-like. Get them ready. Yeah, from, was it Norv? Was that something Norv did? Or? I think a lot of teams do it around the league, call it periods. I think most teams do it. Uh, again, I just I, I like the competition part of it. It gets It's good for coaches, subbing in and out, you know, getting guys in, treating it like a game. So I thought it was good. Does Anthony look more comfortable to you? Than yeah, uh, I thought he had a heck of a day today. Um, he, he was really solid, um, made some big-time throws. Obviously, the two-minute drive, you know, threw a nice touchdown right there in the end zone. Uh, and then the two-point play, that he ran in, it was, it was pretty good to see. Preseason football is about to get started. Yeah. Any decisions have been made about how much we're going to see each quarterback? Yeah, no, we're still working through that. We'll get that decision made probably midweek or later in the week. What's changed with Anthony? I saw he wasn't in I got to talk to the trainers. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. What's changed with five? It seems like he's like the past couple of days, all of a sudden, it's like, bam, he's really comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I think when you, you know, you get repetitions and you do things more and more and you're going to get more comfortable. And I think uh, he's, you know, gaining confidence in the system and gaining confidence with his teammates. And when you have that and you have the talent that, you know, he has, you know, it's, it's usually a good thing. What do you got, buddy? Which one thing you think you have to work with them before the season on? That's a good question. Um, you know what? I think, you know, just, be, you know, being part of the NFL, you know, it's a big step for, you know, a college player. But, um, you know, he's been really good in the meeting rooms. You know, I think, you know, sometimes it's fa it's a fast game uh, with the NFL. And uh, we just got to keep him, you know, calm in there sometimes. And he does a hell of a job with it. So when you kind of use sort of uh, alternating, uh, alternating process with the, the quarterback play in the preseason, even though you haven't made your final decisions yet with you? Yeah, we'll, we, like you said, we're still working through that. I'll give you guys, you know, some answers here later in the week. When you go with these situations, it's only two minutes. What, what Anthony has, I mean, it was three plays or two plays. What, what impresses you? The, the end result or just how he's processed? Just the operation of it, you know what I mean? Two minutes, I think, you know, in college, it's funny because in college, the clock always stops, you know, when you get a first down. And so, like, you're on the ball. There's so many different situations that come out. You know, we, we've been talking about them through the meeting rooms, and they show up. We had one last week, you know, that we showed in the meeting room, a game-like situation, and actually came up on the practice field. and. Another situation that came up today. I mean, he just he was operating at a high level today. Changes to practices this week with the game. Anything you'll change about this week, considering it's just a Tuesday, Thursday? No, I feel good where we're at. I mean, you know, I want to get these guys rested up a little bit and uh, get them ready to go for Buffalo. Anything different, JC? No. Right. Multiple back shoulder attempts to Michael Strong over the yeah. last couple of days. Um, any specific reason that that's being picked up here recently? I mean, he's a big body type guy. You know, he made some big plays the other, you know, last week or whatever. So shoot, let's keep let's keep working that. You know, it's a hard it's a hard ball to defend. So, uh, but like where Mike's at. What's impressed you most about Daryl Baker? Uh, just his speed and his aggressiveness. He's been great in man-to-man -man coverage. You know, he's got good vision, you know, reading the quarterback's eyes. Um, I like the way he works, and he keeps improving every day. So speed at the end of the game, and then yeah. Leonard's hand in one of them on one of the seven. Yeah. Seven. How important, how much of an emphasis do you have on turnovers this year? Oh, huge. I think, you know, one of the keys to victory is win the turnover battle. You look around the league, you know, teams that win the turnover battle have, a, I think it's like 77, 75, somewhere around there to win games. You know, this league's so tight. There's so much, you know, parity in this league, and you got to take care of the football. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's still, we're still ramping him up, uh, going through that phase with him, but like where he's at. So I was playing, I know he's like kind of walked off and kind of took a D on one side, like the other side, just playing. Yeah, yeah. Coach, you've got a competitive tight end room. What do you see in the camp? Shoot, it is good. I mean, we got some guys banged up. You know, we signed a couple guys, um, but it's good to see the competitive nature of that group. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. There's a lot of battles. You know, position camp battles going on. Tight ends is one of them. Um, but like where they're at, you know, Drew Ogletree's, you know, done some really good things. Farrell Brown's done some good things. Um, I know Jelani's banged up and Will. Uh, so we got those other guys in to come in and compete. But like the group as a whole, and you know, we'll see how it plays out. Anthony and Alec now connected on multiple deep balls through training camp. Get a, get a really big reaction from the fans. Yeah. Um, has there been a specific emphasas on that deep threat with those two and the rep before they're... Yeah, I mean, I think when you got a guy that has speed, you know, with uh, Alex speed, you know, he's got a chance to hit some big ones over the top and shoot, and he made a heck of a throw, you know, and just the call-up period to him. I'm, it was a one-on-one -on -one backside, and we had another combination over there, and he snapped back and threw that one-on-one, -on -one and uh, it's a great throw and a great catch.